John Crosby. Rocking out my Yankees gear because they are in the wild. They they're in the playoffs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are the Mets doing? <laughs> they're out playing golf. All right. So I'm here to talk about what has been known for the past few days as the Crosby Championship. Now I told you last show that I'd tell you this show what the hell this is all about. See, as Ace will know, when we were in the uh, in Bermuda this summer, doing it up. No, we were not. Yeah, we were on different we're cruise together. lines, actually. We we're on yeah. different cruise lines. We met up, we met up in uh, a port in Bermuda on a Thursday. We found a big old open plane. We had an old school Bennett Park wrestling match. No ring or anything. Just me and him for this. The Bermuda Championship, we'll call it. We didn't know what to call it then. I won. So I won the championship. So I came here. I brought it to KW. Really? Fuck up. How you doing? I'm turning into a leaf, by the way. A Street. Thank you. So I bring it here, and I defend it. You want to know why? Because that makes it a world championship, because I've defended it outside the United States and inside the United States. Really? Really? It's simple geography. <laughs> okay. So basically, that makes me a world champion, higher up than the KW champion, PJ Matthews, who's only a promotional champion, a United States, United States champion. What a loser. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nope. But go on. So, how does it feel to be the number two champion? I didn't want to bring this in. I did. I, I was ready to forget about it until you beat me the first time. I want a rematch at the 69th show. Unifying our titles to create the KW World Championship. It'll be the first legit world championship in backyard wrestling as far as I know. Now, you can either refuse and keep on being the number two guy while I'm number one. You can prove to me that you're number one by winning the KW World Championship. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's probably the smartest thing you said all day. Come on, hero, just do it already, yay! Come on, you're all good. Right. You're good. Alright. 69 show? Yep. Me and you. You're fine, Give me a sure? I'm sure. You're not going to cry when I beat you? <laughs> I don't even have to think oh. about si that situation because it won't happen. You'll be the one crying okay. to your mother. Okay, okay. Crying about how you went in with that and ended up with nothing. Deborah! No, I'll be crying to your sister. Oh my god, that's so hot. Oh. I really don't care because I'll still be a champion. Okay, John. You can't do Shut that. Shut up, I have to talk about tonight. All right, me and you. We got a handicap match with this kid. Beer delivery guy okayed it. <laughs> you good with that? No. No. Why not? See, as a new persona, I believe in a fair chance for all. And also, being a triple threat match, which I want, I get a shot at your title too. No. What do you say to that, world champion? Come on. Friendly rivalry. Friend. Friendly. Sorry. Rivalry. Against this pipsqueak. You know, we could just beat his ass. Like you won't. I don't want to beat his ass. To do. I want a fair match. Fine, I'll defend this again and prove again why I'm the top guy because of this. Again. You got it. Trip threat match. Oh, whoa. All right, all right. So all right. Saying this? No. Why not? Beer delivery guy. You booked it. Oh, that beer delivery guy was probably drunk. All right, whatever. Let's just let's just get it. for it, boys. I think you need some men up, but uh, that's just my opinion. Spit in his head! As for you, I win tonight. I win at 69. Oh, you think so? I know so. Why don't you just pucker up and kiss him, Matthews? You sure? Hey! Sorry. <laughs> sure about that? Watch it.